All right, I must be like a glutton for punishment or something. I'm, I don't even know if I can handle another uh, game like that. Hopefully, you know, hopefully for the humanity, if nothing else, we won't see another just tragic march to oblivion from like the 40 Marines. Hopefully we won't. Uh, no guarantees though. So, uh, Stanley on uh, Jagannath, which is a really big map. Um, Stanley up in the top right is big Jagannath. Uh, um, so, not a great map for a rush because it's a feral walk across. Um, it's a, a map that is pretty easy to kind of half. So, it isn't a bad macro map. Um, it's not a bad macro map at all. You, you can you can get your obviously like your natural can come up pretty quickly um, but you can get your third up pretty fast as well and um, I have your army positioned somewhere over here um, so you can defend both uh, the fourth a little bit trickier and and you might um, kind of find it harder to hold that as well but that's when uh, plan three fortresses come into their own uh, so as a Terran player you know if a base is going to be difficult uh, because it's a little bit further away um, and you're worried about if something comes in to attack that base how am I going to get my units over there in time um, you can just turn it into a planetary fortress and planetary fortresses have extra health they have armor and they shoot so it's a command center that like shoots uh, I think it's got extra health not just armor I think they're yeah pretty sure it does anyway they're very hard to kill um, because what you can do if something attacks is you can just grab all your SCVs, right click it, and they'll repair it. And, and when you've got like 16 SCVs repairing something, that is a lot of repair. You know, you can you can only have like things built by one SCV at a time, but you can have as many repairing as, as can fit around it. And obviously a command center is a large object. So you can pretty comfortably fit like 20 SCVs around it all repairing away. <laughs> Um, with their weird kind of drill arm things like uh, so yeah planetaries um, PFs don't really die you know it has to if you try and like kill a, a planetary with say marines the planetary will just muller so so many marines and, and a strong chance you don't even get at them if the pull on the SEVs is quick and, and get the repair on so really in order to, to kill a PF you, you typically need something that's going to do splash to take out the SCVs that are repairing it or something that arranges it or or just a, a huge army that you know will will focus it down really quickly um, yeah you're certainly not going to kill it with like 20 marines or something with no combat shield that's for sure um, right what's happening here I, I much prefer this opening from Nakutam um, we've got gas coming we've got an expand um, we've even got an engineering base so we might see some upgrades I don't think we have yet um, the scan from Stanley I quite like um, you know most of the players in the EMS league certainly in the first round uh, generally people don't spend their minerals I mean look at these guys they're they're floating quite a lot of minerals so from your orbital command dropping mules isn't necessary you know normally in a game of starcraft i would say yep as soon as you've got like your um orbital done you start dropping mules for that extra income but if if you're struggling to spend your mineral income anyway that that's of no benefit so arguably though that command center energy is better used just scanning your opponent to see what's going on um it's double factory over here from stanley um, and he is getting into some siege time production another scan goes down checks the natural sees what's up sees nothing but marines um and you've got you know i did minutes you scan and you don't see any tech just marines you've got to be pretty happy about that because marines are great don't get me wrong and and playing bio as a terran is absolutely legit you you can like win a game with essentially just marines but if, if you are going to do that those marines need supported by medivacs because just it's such a game changer once you've got medivacs above the marines 
uh, that it, you know that it heals them back up so um damage is temporary and and they're much tougher they also have to they've just got to have combat shield um so you, you would research combat shield from the tech lab add-on to your barracks maybe there's one over here um, there actually isn't on the barracks there are some on these factories uh, worth noting you can swap so if you've built like uh, see the way this factory's got a tech lab this barracks has got a reactor Terran buildings can lift off so you could lift both these buildings off and switch them around and uh, just save you having to build a tech lab on the barracks you can just land it on this one do the upgrades for the marines and then swap it back if you like um, and keep those upgrades um, what was I saying? Okay, this is weird. So there's a ghost academy, but you can't actually build ghosts because you, you've got to have a tech lab on your barracks to build a ghost. Um, I like I like the thinking. I'd love to see a nuke or something like that. Um, you know, um, ghosts are pretty OP, actually. Um, uh, ghosts also can fart EMPs, which take the energy off any unit that has energy so that includes medevacs and stuff um oh 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 no 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 i think i had it on slow one over here oh the siege tanks no oh, that is that is just beautiful. Uh, oh dear uh, i'm in the quad again so I think Stanley's just gonna a click and win here. I mean, he's building stuff at home. If you just rally the stuff you're building at home to here to make sure you can hold, you're probably gonna be alright. Oh, if these Marines try and walk into the back of this, the siege timeline is just gonna take a little bit. No, but Stanley on siege! <laughs> Anyway, it's not going to matter. It's just an overwhelming army from the start. Um, so yeah, if you're going to play Marine, uh, you need a tech lab, you need combat shield. It adds 10 to their health. <coughs> so instead of 45 health and 55 health, that is obviously a big percentage difference. Um, you need stim, you need better banks, and ideally you need to be very close getting upgrades from the and once your marines are like 3-3, three, three, you know, you can take less when it's absolutely cool. Uh, and with medevac support, maybe a red or something, you need to support them as well. Um, yeah, you, you can absolutely play like that. And, and it has the advantage the marines are incredibly mobile. Um, you know, they're reasonably quick units, just in their own right. But uh, but you can just load them into medevacs and support them on the map really quickly. Um, so you can, you know, they're really good for just backstabs, for chuck, you know, two meta packs for the Marines, drop it in the back here, and there's some just weird stuff. Anyway, um, this game is over, and that was the third game. So Stanley does um, manage to take the 2-1 victory against Nakutan. GG.